you're watching later, welcome. Oh boy. I didn't really warn people that I was doing this, so sorry about that. Um, guys um how is everybody doing i love you so much Annie. you help me so much thank you i love you too tdm and beast mass beastie master josie mckinney love you too <laughs> um let's see Hey Amanda, how are you? I mean, I've been better. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, I've been better. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, that's good, Charmaine. I am alive. Happy birthday, Dee Dee. It's Dee Dee's birthday, Darianne. Everyone wish her a happy birthday. She's 17 today. Um, it's cold in here. Did I turn on the air? Why did I turn? It's freezing. It's been like raining and storming and all of the things for the things. It's like really cold. I might need to go turn on the heat. Can you guys wait a second? Um, I'll be right back. Can you wait? I'm so sorry. I didn't think it would be this cold in here. I'll be right back. I'm not wearing pants as usual, so I just don't want to flash you. <laughs> I'll be right back. Tell people I'll be back. Coming back. I'm actually coming back. Yeah, my air was on. That's why it was so cold. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see. What do we got here? Um, yeah, we had like a huge um, rain and like thunder and lightning storm last night. It was so cool. I love the rain. I love it so much. Um, so ask me some questions. Let's see. You're on the struggle bus too? Yay! Twins! Newborn. Wait. Oh, you have newborn twins? Wait, for real? You're amazing! Are you kidding? That's wonderful! I mean, that's a really hard thing to be dealing with, but what a blessing to be with twins. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Yay! No, it's okay, Daphne. Sorry I missed out. I'm a lot lately. Hopefully, hope you get back into the swing of things. How are Danny and Paul doing? Danny and Paul are having the time of their lives in Fiji. Here, let me show you some pictures he just sent me. I really kind of feel bad for him that he has to be there. It's like really hard life for him right now. So, there's his, wait, can you see that? Hold on. I did want to talk to you guys about something, so don't leave if you're here. So there's, they're filming by a pool inside, and then they're filming, and he said the water is like actually perfectly warm and beautiful, and he says it's literally like paradise there. That's them filming on the beach. <laughs> the 
with some Fijians. So everyone keep Danny in your prayers. Um, it's really hard for him right now. He's just really struggling out there in Fiji, in paradise. It's so hard for him right now. So. <laughs> My birds, I, can't, I specifically came in here so they wouldn't be that loud. Are they like super loud? Tell me if they're super loud. If it's unbearable, then I'll go cover them, but I would rather not cover them. But if it's unbearable, then I will, so tell me. So, um, Laura said, Shani, when do you usually do your Instagram lives? Okay, that's actually what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I decided to take a break from the Insta fam on Instagram doing lives on there um, just because I'm I'm struggling with some things and I was thinking and I'm like struggling to the point that it's really sort of been rough for me the past couple days and originally today I plan on filming and editing and uploading a video for you guys but it didn't happen because I am really struggling and um, so I was thinking and I took a break from the Instafam so I was thinking that I could go live on here every day for a week um, just to kind of give me some time because I'm trying to work on a project for Danny and he's gonna be home on the 19th and I it's literally taking every ounce of energy that I have to do it for him um, so I'm, I was thinking maybe I could go live on here instead every night uh, for the next week, probably. Um, and I just, I want to know what you guys think about that. Is that, I know it's super lazy, but just know that it's, I wouldn't be, well, I'm going to bring you in closer. I wouldn't be like, um, <clears throat> I need the phone. I don't even know what I was about to say. Dang it. Okay, um, hold on. Let's see. Change of environment is good. Yeah, I think so too. Great idea. I don't mind the idea, but you need moderators. Yes, please do it, Shani. Hi, Shani. Agree, Darian. Okay, I think I will. Um, so I usually go live on Instagram every night around, it's an av I would say it's anywhere from like eight to midnight, maybe one or two sometimes, my time, Mountain Standard time. Um, so I'm gonna say it's gonna be around 10 o'clock every night. <laughs> but I don't know, it might actually be, actually it might be earlier. I don't know when it's gonna be, but I will go be going live every day for the next week. So if you miss one, I would start checking back anytime after 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time is when I will go live every day, Some sometime after that. So if you want to like keep your phone on and watch for, because I don't know exactly when, I could try and do an hour warning, like I could put up a video for like an hour warning. Uh, I do that on Instagram. I'll post on my story and I'll say I'm going live in about an hour. So I think I can do that on here too. I can just make like a quick little direct upload video to let you know when I'm going live and try and give you at least um, a little bit of a warning because I do want as many of you to be there as possible. Because um, I know a lot of you guys miss out on the Insta Lives also and, and that's also, so this, I just feel like this could benefit all of us for many reasons. So let's do it. Um, they're not loud. Okay. You're enjoying hearing them. You and your birds definitely brighten up my days. I love your videos. Oh, I love you, Ruby. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Moderating is hard guys. Um, I will think about the moderating thing. I'll think about if I even need it. Uh, will I save them? Yeah. Yeah, I'll save them. So you're going to just get like hours of footage of me for the next week. You're going to get like seven hours of footage. Do you really want that, you guys? Because that's kind of crazy, actually. 
That's a lot of footage. Holy shiz. Are you sure you want that actually? Seven hours? You guys are like, yes? Gosh. You're weirdos. That's what I wanted to talk about, Dee Dee, was um, going live on here. <laughs> oh, okay. My goodness. Okay, I will then. My goodness. The mountain daylight time hours. What are you talking about, Is? I don't know what that means. He's always correcting me, and I don't even know what he's talking about. Mountain standard time, isn't it? Or mountain western eastern? Now I'm confused. My I live in mountain stand mountain standard time. We're not on standard time. What are we on? What are you talking about? I'm so confused. Is what are you talking about? No, I will not go live on Pringle either. Mountain MST, except when we spring forward. I didn't know that. Is this a thing that I didn't know? Okay. Well, it's 10, anytime after 5 p.m. Utah time. You can look it up yourself. I don't know. Just forget it. Let's move on. Yeah, send in your questions and I'll just pick as I go and I'll just uh, pick the ones that I feel like answering right now. I'm kind of struggling today, so just know that um, I'll do my best, but until we alter it for DST, Daylight Savings Day. I'm, is, you're giving me a headache. I don't know what you're talking about. I have never seen that before. Every time they say like, oh, new America's Got Talent on, on, on channel four, 10, eight o'clock mountain standard time. I never see mountain daylight time ever. But I believe you because you know everything. Mona, you gave me money. Oh my gosh. So did you ever cash in the money from here? Um, yeah, it just goes to my bank account. So it's really nice and really helpful when you guys do that. Thank you so much. I've been thinking of starting um, a Patreon. Uh, like, And that would be hard for me though because like, I've been thinking about this for a while. But it would be really hard for me. Like, I hate like asking for money. But at the same time... Um, it's just realistic, you know, whatever goes in, whatever is given to this channel will come back to you eventually. So like, for instance, I want to do like a big giveaway when I hit a hundred thousand, which who knows if that will ever happen because I've been stuck at 90,000.5 something forever. Um, and I'm grateful, don't get me wrong, but um, it's just not growing and I do want to do a giveaway. I want to give away like an iPad or something like that and then like other like Cameras later in the future better cameras and like every I get why people do patreons because it's like we're spending the time Every day to make videos for you guys and to think of ideas and it might look like we're only doing an hour's work Well for me it does it will be that way for the next week but when you actually make a video it takes planning it takes uh, finding a time to do it, setting it up, filming the video, editing the video, uploading the video, social media in the video, uh, getting it out there. Like it's, it, you're constantly thinking like it's, it's a, it's kind of a, it's, it's a job, it's a job. And so it would make sense that, um, that it's okay if we like set up a Patreon and if, no, if you guys don't help, that's okay too. Like, either way, it's kind of, like, optional, I guess. I don't know. Um, shut up, Daphne. I'm thinking about making some pasta salad. Have any recipes? Uh-uh, I don't. Okay, I'm going to tell you the recipe about that oh, right now. What's happening? Is Danny watching me? Hi, Paul. Is Danny here? I love you, too, but is, is Danny here, too? Is Danny there? I miss him so much. I'm gonna cry. 
I'm gonna cry. He's right here. Is he here with you? Is he listening to me? He's here. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Danny. Hi, Paul. I miss you too, but I really miss Danny a lot. Where is he? Is he here? Tell him to come on. Tell him to say that. Oh, he's in another room. <laughs> is he gonna come home? Has he fallen in love with Fiji too much to come home? I think he's just not ever gonna want to come home. Who would want to come home in this after being in Fiji forever? Is he there? My heart just skipped a beat like as if you're like, like when, I'm like tearing up like when you're in like high school or and you like a boy and he like calls you or these days he would text you and you get that little jump in your gut and your stunt in your heart. That's how it felt when Paul was like, hi, I'm here from Fiji. I was like, oh my gosh, Danny could be in the same room with him. Go get him! Where is he? Anyway. And that's a good question, Paul. Is the water in Fiji as good as bottled Fiji water? That's a really good question. I wonder if it's actually Fiji water, the bottled stuff. Is it actually from Fiji? Hmm. I thought they just named it that, but I don't know. Anyway, Mona, thank you, by the way. Again, thank you for the $2. That was so, so sweet of you. Um, I'm on the struggle bus because... Hi, Abby. Hey, girl. Um, for those of you just joining, I'm going to be going live on here, on YouTube, every day for a week. Um, I need all of my energy, my energy that I would have put into videos. I need that energy to put into something that I'm working on for Danny, that I'm making for Danny for when he gets home. So I'm making Danny something. I need the energy for it. So I'm going to be going live on here every night. I've taken a break from Insta, the Insta fam. I'm still on Instagram. I'm still going to post stories and I might listen to other live streams and stuff, but like I'm not going to be going live on there at all. Um, so catch me here every day and it will save to my channel. So if you miss it, you won't miss it because you can go back and watch later. So anyway, yeah. Um, now he's with Danny. Hi, is he, can he hear me? Can he hear me? Can he hear me? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I will be choosing moderators. I think I will. I think that is a good idea. I'll let you guys know. I think I might pick a different one every day. I don't know. Um, let me think about that. I also don't want to cause any more jealousy in the community. Um, if I pick one of you, others might get jealous. So I don't want to do that. Let's see. Is he here? Can he hear me? Tell me if he can hear me, Paul. If he can hear me. Paul. Paul. Pollyanna. Polly. Polly Boo, Polly Bear, Polly Buttball, Polly Boo, is he here? Is he here? <laughs> you know, right, Abby? Yay! We love jealousy around here. Danny, is he there? I'm distracted because we're all going to call you Pollyanna until Danny gets on here. Thank you, Hannah. Pollyanna! He would probably embrace it. He would be like, all right, I'm Pollyanna. That's just Paul. Sorry, I shouldn't be watching, haha, -ha, because we're right in the middle of filming. Well, don't come on here and tease me with your teasies. Go away. Unless Danny's with you. Not that you don't matter. Pollyanna want a cracker. <laughs> cracker. Pollyanna want a cracker? Cracker? Why do I keep saying Crocker? I can't talk today. Um, I am going to be redoing my hair soon. Uh, and I'm really excited for how it's going to turn out. So, I'm a little nervous though. I think maybe I should leave it blonde, but I sort of want to add some other color in there. 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe I'll just ask you this time instead of surprising you like last time. Um, I want to do, so like I've, I've already told you that originally I wanted to put some lavender, maybe some silver, not silver, but like more white silver blonde, I guess that is kind of silver. But now I kind of want to do like purple and pink. I don't know. Even maybe blue. Should I just do like unicorn hair? I mean, it won't be dramatic. Like not all of my hair will be like that, but just like a few different streaks or something. I don't know. Um, maybe just like purple. And by purple, I mean like lavender and pink. By pink, I mean like baby pink. And by blue, I mean like baby blue. But I don't know about the blue. You have purple and blue, Darcy. Do you like it? Goth girl is back? Where? I haven't seen her forever. Where is she? Is that, wait, is that you, Cassandra? Are you goth girl? Yeah, that's you? Where have you been? Welcome back. I thought you were dead. I thought you died of cancer. Are you okay? Where have you been, my dear? Um, I love it. Get the brand overtone for conditioner to keep up with it. So I, I'm going to have my cousin do it again. She's the one that made my hair like this. But we couldn't do it all the way in one process. It takes two processes at least to try and put the purple in it. So I'm going to go back. So what are you thinking for Patreon rewards? Well, so I'm going to do an iPad giveaway when I hit 100,000 subscribers. And then after that... Patreon money would go to the channel and I'm sure that that would eventually turn into like giveaways and or especially around Christmas time and to clear it up before any of you trolls out there not trolls but people who are very critical of me I'm gonna clear it up real quick I know that I did giveaways for Christmas a couple of years ago and I never sent them out for those of you that were not there when we talked about this already but I'll update those of you that were not there um I kind of went into a really, really bad funk of anxiety and um, anxiety and depression and just overwhelmingness. And then I also couldn't afford to send them out because I was stupid. And like I gave away prizes that were like heavy and I'm so stupid. Like next time I do a giveaway, unless it's a big one like the iPad. It, it'll be gift cards because like it was way too expensive. It was too much anxiety, depression for me to even get there. And then I started feeling bad that I never did it. And so then I would hate myself more. And then that took me into a spender. Blah, blah, blah. So it's all my fault. But anyway, I came on and talked to you guys about it. And everyone agreed that it's okay if I just kind of clean my slate and start fresh now. So I'm so sorry if you want to give away for Christmas a couple years ago, three years ago. Um, most of the gifts were only like the most I gave away was like $15 worth, so it wasn't a ton, but still, I know a lot of you must have been bummed. Not a lot of you were telling me, only a couple of you told me that you were pretty mad about it, but, um, but I'm, but I'm like truly sorry about it. So for anybody that doesn't know that, I'm so sorry that that happened, and I have officially kind of cleaned my slate, and I hope that you guys can be on board with that and understand, and this time I'll, in the future I'll be more, I'll be better about, um, doing this kind of thing so um oh, I'll do lots of shout outs absolutely on my patreon Abby because yeah they're strawberry duh um, however with the little niblets I like the cherry ones I don't know why it's weird Aww. the best giveaways you can give 
is your beautiful self. Aw, cute. You're so cute, Luna. Thanks, guys. Only Patreon. Okay. Yeah, I could do that. So do you follow a Patreon? Who here follows? Does anybody here follow anybody's Patreon? I don't even know how it works, but someone suggested that to me. They were like, why don't you do a Patreon? Because your videos can't be monetized. Like, even if I was making a lot of... I could be making probably... Um... Probably like, I don't know, seven, eight hundred dollars a month. <laughs> um, if my videos could be monetized, but they can't. Except my fun ones, and nobody watches those. So, so my stuff can't be monetized. So they were like, well, you're not able to get paid on YouTube, so you should start a Patreon. And that's just how, I mean, that's how YouTube works, right? Like, people have to make money to continuing to make content because otherwise, I'm really blessed right now that I don't have to get another job, but eventually I might. And if Danny doesn't have work after Fiji, if he doesn't find work, like, just stuff like that, like, that's just normal for people, even people who are super rich from YouTube still uh, make money off their videos and they deserve it because they work hard for it. Um, hi Florence. Um, um, you're so cute, Luna. Thank you. Didi gave me 99 cents. Thank you, Didi. <laughs> it's your birthday. Don't be giving me gifts on your birthday. What worked? I've addressed you two times already. Calm down. It's Didi's birthday, guys. Didi is Darian, by the way. Why can't you be monetized because my videos talk about topics that always get demonetized? Abby, thanks Abby. Abby just sent me a video to watch about Patreon. Thank you, Abby. Um, because the topics of my videos are too... Uh-oh. Is it frozen for you? It's frozen on my phone. Oh, there we go. No. Is it frozen for anybody? Um, there we go. Okay. What was I going to say? Oh, because I talk about really, really serious topics. Um, so I know, I know they're important topics, but YouTube is demonetizing wherever they can. And I have a feeling it's because they're getting overly populated on YouTube. Does that make sense? Like they're like five years ago, there were not that many, as many creators as there are now. And now there are just probably millions and millions and millions of creators. So I have a feeling that they are just doing this for money because they're really frustrated with the fact that, I don't know, actually I shouldn't say that. What am I doing? That's my employer. I shouldn't say that. But they don't pay me, so whatever. <laughs> I've tried. Like, I've monetized all of my videos since I came back from my break and even before that. And it gets demonetized immediately because I either, either I say something in it, I talk about something hard, or if it's a fun one, it usually has, it's always something. It's either like a copyright or it's a, it's a, there's a child in my video, so it's demonetized. Like, it's just stupid. And I just don't, I, I don't have enough subscribers to make, to have that, 
to like make up for the difference. Like other people can make money easier. Like people who have millions of subscribers can make money on YouTube easier because even if their video gets demonetized, uh, which a lot of them have figured it out by now and they're fixed it and that's great for them. Um, but even if it did, what was I going to say? I just lost my train of thought. Shocking. <gasps> it's raining again. I love the rain. I love it. Um, I forget what I was going to say. Oh, when you're that bigger, you get like brand deals and you got merch and stuff. So I am working on merch right now. In fact, I've been designing my own merch, but a friend of mine, Amy, if you're watching, has gone ahead and without even me asking her, has designed t-shirts and cups, mugs and shower curtains and all of these things. So well, I'm hoping to get merch out soon. Like this year is my goal by the end of the year. Um, and then also like with the brand deals that bigger YouTubers can get, I'm not going to like sit and judge and say that they don't even use the products that they have brand deals for. I will just tell you that for me, I don't want to do that. I do not want, I will do, I'll do sponsored videos on products that I actually like and use. So if they want to send it to me and I like it, then I will use it. But if I, or I'll do it. But if I don't like it, I'm not going to like get on here and be like, oh, this is the best shampoo I've ever tried. Or this is like the best denture glue or whatever they want me. And, and pretty much those were the only two things, <laughs> my hair and my dentures that I might get sponsored for. Um, so I don't know. I've thought about, because Shelton's really good at all this stuff. Um, well, the shower curtain would be cool because then you would have my face on your shower curtain. And so then when you go into the bathroom to throw up, you can't because I'm there staring at you. Isn't that terrifying? Anyway, so I'm going to ask Gabby, you could reach out to BetterHelp. Oh yeah, that would be good too. I don't know. I'm going to, or not Abby, Shelton. I don't know. Anyone, actually, how about I call for it right now? If anyone out there, hmm, let me think this through. Here's what I will say. If anyone out there I'll get back to you on that. Let me think this through before I go asking for stuff like that. I know you would, Dee Dee. I was gonna say anyone out there who has experience with like managing stuff like that, cause I'm like, that's my biggest issue is my phone anxiety. That's my biggest issue. So I wonder like if I started a Patreon and could afford it, then I could hire a manager who would then um, find sponsors for me and stuff like that. Um, cause I'm great. I am great with a camera. I'm great on live streams, but I am horrifically terrified of the phone. I hate the phone. I hate talking on the phone and I could do a three meals, but I'm sure I'll need to talk to them eventually just until I get strong, like brave enough to do it. I don't know. Do everything by email. I can try that. I don't know. I haven't really thought this through until now. I hate talking on the phone. It's the worst. So much anxiety. I forgot how good Twizzlers are. It's been a while. Thank you. Oh, you're sweet. No, because like, here's the thing. I use Pantene Pro-V stuff. And I use Polydent. And those are huge brands. I use Polydent for my dentures. To, to clean my dentures, to soak my dentures, the little fizzy things. And then I use, I use Pantene Pro-V for my hair. And then I use like 
um, big sexy hairspray, the expensive stuff in the red bottle. I use that hairspray. What other products do I actually use? Um, I use, again, Pantene Pro-V. Uh, sometimes I do. I'll use their like conditioning spray, like serum spray. Um, what else do I use? I don't know. And then there are like medications that I use every day, but I don't know if they do that. I don't know if they sponsor. I don't know if any medical people, like medication people, sponsor people on YouTube. I don't know. That could be wrong. Because I take every single day, I take Citrusel. I take Prilosec. Um, what else do I take? The, those are, and Prozac, but I, those are, I don't know. I don't know. But the only over-the-counters that I do take daily are Citrusel and uh, Prilosec, so who knows? You can always just email their customer service and just ask, explain yourself, and then ask. It never hurts to ask. Yeah, you're right, Abby. I will. Um, and you get a shower curtain of all of our faces. I should. I'm not kidding. Or like... Do it for you too. Don't do it. Except my shower curtain is in, I don't have a shower curtain in my bathroom. Crap. Do a toilet seat cover too. That's what I should do. Come on, that is shanty merch. A toilet seat cover and a fanny pack for the shanty fannies. Shanty fanny packs is the one that I've been working on. But I might ask Amy to design me a fanny pack as well. Because I want it to be like bright rainbow, and sparkle, sparkly, and like really sparkly and it says shanty fanny on it yeah i sent you a marco polo danny okay hold on i need to listen to this guys yeah. we'll listen together uh, we're eating here lunch hey jenny uh, we're eating here lunch and i'm going to show you danny real quick yeah i have food over there i'm eating Danny. He's so cute! Yeah, I'm showing Shani you. Hey! I okay. when I get my food. Okay. This is just a... This is DeMarco. Maybe she'll see it. And... I love you! I'm waiting for it to go I love you so... Is it done? No! No! <laughs> That's it? Marco Polo Gigi and make everyone jealous. I know. Um, prayers for Gigi. Not my business to say what, but something awful has happened in her life. So please pray for Gigi and her mom, please, if you pray. Shower towelettes. That would be cute, too. Um... Hi, Shani. This is my first live stream. Welcome! Um, I noticed that even I'm struggling with cutting, I'm not struggling with Ed, and when I struggle with Ed, the urge to cut goes away. That's really common, because I feel like that's common anyway. I have experience with that, because, like, if you're not doing one self-harm addiction, like, purging, then you're doing another. Because for me... They both kind of filled that void. So cutting and binging for me. I don't like purging, but I purge because I used to eat so much. Um, yeah, replacement behavior. Thank you. That's a good way to put it. Is that what it's called, Abby? I'm sure it's like a thing. Because I, I get you there. And I'm sorry you're struggling.
Courtney, it's your first too? Welcome. Welcome to a live stream. So eventually, maybe tomorrow, I'll start doing things with you guys that I usually do on the Instagram live. So you can get an idea of what it's like. I think this could also invite a lot more people in if you get used to this and you like the fe feeling of seeing me every day and doing a live stream and, you know, having our inside jokes and um, little things we do on the lives every night on Instagram, then maybe you can start to head over there. I know a lot of you don't have it. Um, yes, there's a giant rose behind me. Danny gave it to me for my birthday. Isn't that incredible? It's hilarious. I can't believe it took 41 minutes for someone to ask about it. <laughs> anyway, um... I'm happy you caught me too. Welcome! So like we do comic karaoke a lot, which is so fun. Um, we do affirmation cards. We, I sing a lot on lives. Um, I can sing for you right now if you want, except it might not sound very good to be honest. Um, and I'm gonna go in a minute, but I could sing before I go. Um, I don't know, we do all kinds of stuff and then you get to know each other. So I wanna get to know you guys on here, people that I haven't gotten to know yet on Insta Lives. I wanna to get to know you too. And I'm in a choir, I love singing, please sing. What do you, what part, do, what part do you sing, Courtney? That's so exciting, choir was the best. That was my favorite thing about high school, was choir. Absolutely, soprano too, me too! Except they made me an alto two and an alto one and a tenor, but they never made me anything above that, even though my voice is stronger when it's up higher. Uh, they put me in alto, so I wasn't much help. You could barely hear me. I can't sing low and loudly very well. Everything's freezing. I'm not getting your comments and it looks like I'm frozen. Is it frozen for everyone? Okay, let me, let me exit out and try again, hold on. Hello? There we go. Okay, we're good. What am I doing? What are we doing? Are we singing? What's happening? Um, you're in choir in third grade. I'm actually not in high school anymore. I'm in a community choir. Oh, cool. I also sing soprano one. That's awesome, Courtney. Yay. Oh. Hi, Mama. Hi. Okay, I'm doing a, a live stream right now. Can I call you back? Um, I should be done in just a little bit. Or you can come watch, it's on YouTube if you want. Yeah, I might sing. Or you can just talk to me real quick, what's up? Um, no, I had to reschedule. Yeah, I'll call you. Thank you, I love you. Okay, all right, bye bye. My mom is the cutest mom in the world. I'm sorry. I'm so lucky. I ordered her something for Valentine's Day and it, or Mother's Day and it still isn't here and I'm so mad. I don't think it's going to get here on time. And I'm so bummed. <gasps> Llama Zardity, thank you for the $2, Llama. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I've made $4.99 on this live stream. Danny's going to be so proud. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Seriously, c because for now... I am saving all of any live stream money is going into the iPad giveaway. Uh, and so as soon as I have enough money to buy the iPad from whatever I do, whether it's a live, whether it's, you know, the little bits of monetization that I get on my videos, 
I'm saving all that up and that will go into the iPad and I'll give that away when I hit 100,000. So thank you, Llama. Llamas are nifty. Are you like obsessed with llamas? Tell me about llamas. Llamas are kind of like the, are, are they like the new popular thing, like the new unicorns or something? I mean, I know that llamas are real, but do you know what I mean? Do you know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Anyway, my mom's the cutest and I hope it gets here in time and I don't think it will. I got one for her. I got one for Danny's mom. I got one for my grandma, our only grandma that's left living now. And I got one for myself <laughs> because it's gorgeous and they're still not here and I'm really like frustrated because I'm like, I ordered them probably a month ago, but it was from a website that I've never tried. What I might do, oh, that's a good idea. Actually, that's a good idea. Okay. Will somebody here who is planning to stay till the end of this live, which will only be like 15 more minutes. If anybody here is planning to stay till the end, please remind me right before I leave to check the Mother's Day gift. Say that. And that will remind me what to do. Because I have an idea. So, just somebody remind me, please. Because I'll forget. Um... Unicorns are real. People just don't know it yet. They refuse to believe it. It's proud. What's happening? Am I singing? Am I leaving? I don't know if I can sing right now. Seeing lovely, what's lovely? Or are you calling me lovely? What does that mean? Read us a poem? That's a good idea. Ooh, what poem should it? Oh, another thing I could do is react. I love reacting to things. Does anyone have a video they want me to react to? So you guys pick, let's take a vote. Number one, I sing. Number two, I read you a poem or inspirational quotes. Number three, what did I just say? Oh, I can react to something. So vote. One singing, one is singing, two is reading poems or uplifting things, and three is reacting. You gotta pick one, Mona. One or three, you gotta pick one. You gotta pick only one option. And then I'm going to go after I do whatever option it is. That's true. I haven't sung to you, Dee Dee. But I will tonight on my story. It'll create even more jealousy. Are you excited for that? Happy birthday. Three. Okay, reacting. Okay, what should I react to? Should we see like what's trending? Is there something going around that's trending? I could react to Taylor Swift's new song. I could react, except I've already seen it. Um, there is a video I did want to react to with you guys, but let me see if you guys have any, because I'd rather react to whatever you want me to. Something funny and positive. We could do the one that Jenna Marbles is the best. Oh my gosh, I love her. She's fantastic. I think besides the Ballengers and all the people I actually know, like Emily and Tiffany and all those people. Jenna is my favorite YouTuber besides them. She's like my fifth favorite. I love her. Um, Jenna's new dog. I watched it. It was so cute. React to a new video called Two Girls, One Cup. No! Shut up, Mona. Good try. I already did. You were there, weren't you? I hate you. Shut up. Do not. Kids, children, anybody, do not Google what that is. Do not look it up. Ugh. Why'd you have to remind me of this? Ugh. Don't. Don't do it. It's disgusting. No, 
don't do it. How about we react, because I need to go, I'm not feeling well. How about we react, Lula, to the one that I wanted to react to with you guys. I haven't even watched it yet. I was saving it to do a reaction video. Oh, a talking bird. <gasps> you know what we could watch that I just discovered last night, and it is amazing. Let's see if I can find. It's very, very, very heartwarming. I think we should do that. I will, Jason. Okay, let me pick which one. However, you know what, maybe not. These might be too triggering. But they end well. No, let's not do that today. Let me think about that, because that one, it's not, I would want to do like more than just one, and I don't have the energy to do more than just one. bird Sue Johansson love her love her to death we could do some of her let's see what's trending what is trending probably has nothing to do with YouTube react to the royal baby Met Gala stuff I could do the Met Gala costumes cuz that's what they are they're not even clothes they're costumes like Let me pull you back up so I can see what you're seeing Well, this was a spur of the spur of the moment thing, Huchaka Bala. So, um, I apologize that you have to sit here and stare at me while I read. But guess what? You don't have to. I'm sure you didn't. I don't know if you meant that to be rude, but that was really rude. So, love you. Thanks anyway. Um. My favorite Disney princess is, it, it was always like Cinderella growing up in Sleeping Beauty, but now it's um, Rapunzel. <laughs> I'm sorry to call you out and be rude like that, but that was rude. Like, do you think I planned this? Like to just ignore you while I'm trying to find something? <sighs> Okay, Met Gala. Okay, let's do the Met Gala because I actually haven't seen a lot of them. I've only seen a couple and it's always like fascinating to me. Met, let's see if there's a video about it. Met Gala Fashion 2019. Let's try that. Does anyone, has anyone found a video of like All of them in it. Yeah, I don't even know which one to watch. Um, 
let's do that tomorrow. I'll find one tonight and then I'll do it tomorrow. So let me just do instead, um, oh, it's on trending. Wait, hold on. How come I'm not seeing it on trending? Oh, I don't know. Met Gala 2019, 15 stars who slayed on the fashions, but I want like all of them. I'll, I'll do that tomorrow and I'll be prepared just for you, whoever said that. I'll be prepared for tomorrow. Um, okay, we're just gonna watch the one that I was going to do. Okay, so let me see. Mm. Okay, so this is called trigger warning. This is called I became anorexic for Instagram is what it's called. So I've not watched this yet. The other day I was having a bad day and I didn't know what to do for a video and I logged on to YouTube and in my suggestion, the first suggestion, it's usually Colleen is the first, anything of hers is always my first suggestion because I'm obsessed with her, low key. Um, but this came up first and I was like, that's interesting. So I've not watched it yet because I wanted to get my genuine reaction on camera. I was gonna film it eventually, so let's just do it right now, deal? So this is called, I became anorexic for Instagram. I don't know if this is gonna be good or bad or triggering or not, so. If you feel like you're gonna be triggered, I have a feeling this is gonna be a good video, but we'll see. So, everyone ready? Yes? Oh, it's old? You've seen it? Everyone's seen it? Is it old? How come it popped up in my feed? Oh, it's like over a year old. Oh. Should I still do it? I'm sure there are people who haven't seen it, so. I'll still do it and I haven't seen it and I want to so here we go oh no volume hold on they always look so good on you I am so jealous of you everything always looks so good on you is what friends often say to me but do you know what I've been through to get this body follow me and I'll tell you my story this I used to be a girl in school that nobody noticed all of the boys would just look right past me I wasn't even popular in my own group of friends. I was invisible. I used to feel a little down about that, but it was my goal to get into the best university possible. And when I set my mind to something, I do everything in my power to achieve it. My priority was to first get into my dream college, and then I could worry about my appearance. I asked my parents for the permission to get cosmetic surgery if I was accepted into the university, and they agreed and gave me their blessing. So from that moment on, I focused all of my time and all of my energy into studying to pass the entrance exams. And once I was accepted, they were so proud as they knew how much work I had put into getting there. But I was still a long ways away from achieving my dream. There were two more obstacles I still had to overcome. First was my face. So I had the surgery to add an extra layer onto my eyes, to raise the bridge of my nose, and to make my face into the V-shape. All the things that seems to be what people consider beautiful. When I was done, I looked like a completely different person. But then I was left with the part that stressed me out the most, losing the weight. Because even though my face is beautiful, if I'm still fat, no one will consider me beautiful. This is the social convention. You have to be skinny to be beautiful. It didn't help that most of the boys in the university liked to tease me. Chubby they'd call me, piggy they'd tease. They even joked around about my big arms and big legs. My friend said they were just joking and not to take it seriously. But as time went on, I had no more confidence and no more self-esteem. So I had to be skinny. I watched clips online to teach me how to exercise and I used the entire summer break to lose the weight. At first, I was so exhausted and everything hurt. I almost gave up. But I kept myself inspired by constantly looking at all these beautiful and fit girls on Instagram. I figured if I could look like them, people would notice me. I could wear anything I wanted, but most importantly, I could finally show the people that teased me about my body that they were wrong. 
Once university started, I was the center of attention. Girls looked at me with jealousy, and so many boys kept asking me for my phone number. Even my clothes were getting smaller, but it wasn't enough. When I was nominated as the queen for the summer ball, I started to worry even more that I wouldn't win. I still believed my body wasn't perfect yet, and exercising just wasn't enough anymore. So I started to control my diet. I ate less and was more picky about what I was eating. I ended up losing weight even faster than I did from exercising. People were telling me I was too skinny, but I didn't believe them. I'm not skinny. What are you talking about? Of course, I won the queen of the summer ball. I worked so hard for it. Everyone was congratulating me, but all I could think about was that I had to work even harder. That I'm still fat, and if I'm not careful, I would go back to being invisible again. I had to exercise more and control my diet more, so I decided to work. Can I call you right back? What? Can I call you right back? Oh yeah. Okay. I'm not fat, and if I'm not, of course I won the queen of the summer ball. I worked so hard for it. Everyone was congratulating me, but all I could think about was that I had to work even harder. That I'm still fat, and if I'm not careful, I would go back to being invisible again. I had to exercise more and control my diet more, so I started to work out not just in the evening but also in the morning. I didn't eat anything that had carbohydrates or fat in it. For lunch, I would eat fruit or a box of milk, and for dinner, I had just a glass of water. I was so obsessed with how I looked. I really believed that if I missed a workout or ate more than I was supposed to, I would go back to be fat again. While I was obsessing about my weight, I was just ignoring all these other strange symptoms that were occurring. My period had stopped coming for months. I was losing so much hair. I was cold. I was always cold. My skin was starting to peel, and I was struggling in every single class to focus. My grades had dropped so far and so fast that nobody could believe it. A lot of people noticed the change. I kept hearing that I was too skinny. I wasn't the same. I wasn't as pretty as I used to be. I couldn't accept it, and would just tell them that they didn't know what they were talking about. I lost a lot of friends that time. I cried almost every day. I really didn't know what they were talking about. I couldn't see what was so skinny about me. I, when I looked in the mirror, I, I still looked fat. So I thought they must have just been jealous. Hi, honey. I woke up to see my mother standing next to me. She looked sad and concerned. Then I looked around. Why do I have so many tubes in my arms? What's happening? The last thing I remembered, I was exercising. I was diagnosed with anorexia. I couldn't believe it, but I knew my condition must have been serious when I could no longer feed myself and I had to be fed through tubes. Mm -hmm. I was in the hospital for weeks. I even had to drop out of school and my mom even had to quit her job just to take care of me. But it's been a year now and I'm fully recovered and finally back in university. I've really learned how little value other people's opinions have. The most important things are the love you have from friends and family but what's even more important is the love that you have for yourself. I am me, and I am beautiful in my own way, and I don't feel the need to have to follow society or trends about being skinny. Yes, Why do I need people who only love me for how I look anyway? <laughs> it's been a long journey getting here. I really hope that my story can help to warn people that are about to fall into the same trap. I love it! That's so cool! It's so true. And like, what are we even doing it for? Like, who are we doing it for? We're doing it for other girls. We're do like, that was a great video. Good for her, dude. I'm gonna yeah. link that below. If you guys want to watch it later, I'll come back and link that in the description of this. So that's a great video. That's really, really great. I love it when people share stuff like that because younger generation especially needs to hear this kind of thing um and be warned of it as soon as possible this is what i love about social media i wish we had social media in my day i feel like i could be warned a lot easier and better and so that just makes my heart happy i'm so i'm i'm so happy about that like that's so cool i love that if you're the person who made that out there watching <laughs> you're not but if you are thank you for doing that and thank you for posting that um that's the kind of stuff we need to be sharing with people showing the hard stuff and then showing that it's possible to recover like that's amazing
I love it. Love you. Love you guys. All right, I'm going to go. Thanks for hanging out. I'll see you tomorrow again for another live stream. Um, and I love you. And uh, remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too.